So hello everybody, Cephalon Kate here, back with Mass Effect, and uh, if we don't crash, we are going to continue today and uh, pick up Leara, our last squad member. Um, I have my beautiful, stunning friend Luna, aka Inky Q here, but she will leave in a second. She was here for moral support. Because my computer is uh, crashing a lot and it's very scary. So yeah, this is your... Hoi. Yeah, what? <laughs> I said hoi, hoi, hoi. Hype, hype for crashing. <laughs> for moral support. Right, yeah. Tally, why do you Quarians wear those suits all the time? Is it a cultural thing? No, living in the clean environment of the flotilla has weakened our immune systems. The environmental suits protect against diseases. Oh, well, I'll uh, try not to sneeze. I would never try to take over this thing. Wink. Wink. Who said that? What? Why are you winking? Uh, no, I didn't wink. I didn't wink. I didn't wink. Somebody winked. Somebody winked, but it wasn't me. No. Message for you, Commander. Mm -hmm. Just came in over a secure channel. Shepard, this is Admiral Kahoku. I found out who set that trap for my men. The oh, one shit. killed by the Thresher Moor. Damn, I hope you get this message. It was a group called Serpers. Oh. An alliance black ops organization. Top secret, highest level security clearance. They vanished a few months ago. Dropped right off the grid. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. They've gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments trying to create some kind of super soldier. I don't have any proof, but I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. They're completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. I've done my part. Now it's up to you. This, this mm. is probably the last you'll hear from me. Circus oh, is after me now. I need to disappear before they find me. Errors. Yahtzee system. Voyager cluster. Okay. Yahtzee! So I hope everybody's doing well. I'm very stressed, but gaming helps. So if my computer crashes and I cannot game anymore, I guess I'll just be more stressed. <laughs> okay, this is probably the planet. Research facility. Oh shit. Multiple. Not now, Commander. Why not now? So very interesting that we're finding cool stuff about Cerberus. Apparently uh, they're so far from what I'm getting is they're a group of evil scientists that conduct weird experiments. Perimeter secured. With this gun, it won't work. Maybe it Ah, 
hard. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Relax. I've fallen. You've eliminated the threat that this facility continue to one of the other nearby labs. Okay. Hmm. Oh. That's it. Bag him and tag him. Bag him and tag him. Looks like Cerberus has other bases on this world, Commander. Yes. Whoa. Nice. Moving out. Let's uh what? why am I getting renegade points? Did nothing, huh? Whoa. Excuse me. Gotta make sure that doesn't happen. <laughs> you hear that? Powering up. Lost shields. There was no sign of Kahoku among the Creeper corpses. He must be at one of the other labs, so the last one. I wonder one. what kind of genetic mutant Cerberus has been cooking up at the next base. Perimeter secured. Okay, let's find Kahoku, huh? Oh, another pyramid. Whoa. I'll be right with you. Rothian artifact. There are a few children's toys. Ragged clothes stuffed inside. Interesting. Oh shit. You must die! One last stop to make, Commander. We owe Kahoku that much. Clear. You check for a pulse, but find none. Admiral Kahoku is dead. Despite the ferocity of the creature he was sealed in with, there are no signs of trauma on his corpse. The needle marks on his arm suggest a different means of execution. Damn. It's the Admiral. Hmm. Cerberus must have tracked him down. Oh yeah, and we had the other side mission to go and take down some um, opposing criminal groups from Helena Blake. Okay, I wonder if our party has anything to say so far. 
you are not disturbing me at all. <laughs> so please feel free to stick around, talk about the game if you want. Commander, good to see you. You've been with CSEC a while. Well, not as much as you, but yeah, I've seen some interesting things. I bet you have. Anything in particular that stands out? I remember this Solarian geneticist I was sent to investigate. That case was a bit disturbing. Hmm. What happened? Why were you investigating them? I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmless, nothing I needed to pursue. But during the course of my investigation, I noticed an increase in the trade of body parts, organs mostly. We usually get a few of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. We weren't sure if there was a new black market lab, or if some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. You've seen this before on the Citadel? Every so often, some lab sells unwanted parts through the black market. But they're not as bad as the psychos. I remember this one Elcor diplomat we caught in my first year on the job. He was hacking people up and selling their organs, and the station in a bit of a panic. But this case wasn't that clear cut. Turns out, there was more going on than we first realized. So how did you figure out what was happening? First, we got a hold of a sample and ran DNA tests. The weird thing was, the match led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his liver. After a bit of digging, I discovered this Turian worked briefly for Dr. Salion, the geneticist. So I went to his lab hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development. But there was nothing. No Salarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan <laughs> testicle. Krogan testicles? You're kidding, right? Why would anyone want Krogan testicles? Some Krogan believe that testicle transplants can increase their virility, counteract the effects of the genophage. It doesn't work, but that doesn't stop them from buying. They'll pay up to 10,000 credits each. That's 40,000 for a full set. <laughs> Somebody's making a killing out there. What did you do about the geneticist? I brought in some of his employees for interrogation to see if I could get them to talk. While I was interviewing one of them, I came across something suspicious. You mean threatened? Was that really necessary? Maybe, maybe not. Either way, it paid off. One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. Oh. We offered to patch him up and he got frantic, freaked out. I ordered a full exam to find out what was going on. Our medics found incisions all over his body, some of them fresh. Mm. That was our big break. These people weren't just Dr. Salion's employees. They were test tubes. Walking, living test tubes. He was growing parts inside these people? Exactly. He cloned their organs right inside their own bodies. Then he harvested them and sold them off. Most of the victims were poor. He'd pay them each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the organs were good. Sometimes an organ wouldn't grow properly, so he'd just leave it in them. Most of them were a mess, but only on the inside, hidden, so nobody could see it. I hope he got what he deserved. That's the worst part. We never caught him. Why not? What the hell happened? He ran, blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the nearest space dock. By the time I found out, his ship was already leaving. He threatened to kill his hostages if we tried to stop him. But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. They were worried about the hostages, worried about civilian casualties if the ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. I told them those hostages were dead anyway. He just used them to make more organs. They wouldn't listen. Well, it's not worth the risk. You pursue the vessel and disable it. That's the best choice. They sent the military after him, but he got away just the same. Yes, they did. I went to Palin and told him what I thought of him and his policies. He said if I didn't like it, I could quit. Well, I almost did. All they had to do was disable that ship, stop him from running. Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't, but at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. The choice. I suppose I can see both sides. But what's done is done. I suppose. Can't waste too much time worrying about it now. Just wish I could have stopped him. That's all. Dr. Saleon. Do you have any idea what happened to Dr. Saleon? I sent out feelers from time to time, hoping to find something. I thought I'd found him a while back. 
He changed ships and changed his name to Dr. Hart. His idea of a joke, I guess. I told the military, but they weren't convinced it was him. I got the transponder frequency for his new ship, but I just can't get anyone to check it out. Give it to me. I'll check out the coordinates when I get a chance. I was hoping you'd say that. But Commander, take me with you when you go. If it's Saleon, I want to be there when you find him. Okay, so... That will come back soon. Commander, good to see you. Hey, Ashley. Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? What do you want, Shepard? Why did you become a mercenary? Lots of reasons. Such as? Such as, I needed to get out of our system. I needed to eat. I needed to survive. Why not stay and help your people? I tried to help. That's why I had to leave. What happened? I was betrayed. I was head of a small tribe. Hello? We were trying to restore oh, order yeah. after the war. Hey, one second. But the other tribes were against us. They followed Jared, one of the few warlords who survived the war with the Turians. But he was old, and so were his ideas. He wanted to continue the war. <laughs> he wanted us to fight. Turians, Salarians, each other. It didn't matter who, as long as we were fighting. Hey, so how did it go? 2015, what did you want? I just wanted Jared Which is to, a long time ago now that I did. <laughs> to stop his ranting. I wanted him to stop. Oh, it came out in 2007. Oh, okay. But he couldn't understand how much yeah. things they're on, changed. Uh, they're on Steam. We didn't have yeah. the numbers to go the to The first war. one was great, so I do it. Even if we did, the genophage made sure we this. couldn't replenish our numbers fast enough. I told them all to forget about war. We needed to focus on breeding. At least for one generation. And for a while, we were getting through. Some of the tribes started coming around. I take it the Warlord didn't appreciate that. No, he didn't. He arranged a crush with the tribes. A meeting on neutral ground. Um. He wanted to talk. We met at the Hollows, near the graves of our ancestors. The skulls of our dead laid bare to remind us where we come from and where we all go. It's as sacred as any Krogan place can be. Violence is forbidden. It sounds like a trap to me. You must have suspected as much. I did. But when your father invites you to a crush, well, oh, shit. there are some laws that even we But he's daddy. Sacred. Jared was your father? He was. Until that day. We talked. But we didn't get anywhere. When it was clear that I wouldn't join him, he gave the signal. His men leapt from the graves of our ancestors like Krogan undead. Wow. The few that were loyal to me died quickly. I escaped with my life. But not before I sank my dagger deep into my father's chest. That is why I left. And that's why I'll never go back. That's rough, buddy. Hire ourselves oh, out. See, Alex was popping by. And most of us never go back. You must have family other than your father. Don't you miss them? No. Now that I have my family's armor again, there's nothing left for me. All right. So long, Rex. Shepard. Shepard. I don't know what that means, Sirius, but I'm going to assume you're saying goodnight. <laughs> oh, hello, Shepard. Buenas noches. <laughs> Are you okay? I don't know. Your ship is amazing, and your crew's been really great to me, especially your chief engineer. Mm -hmm. But I just sort of feel out of place. The Normandy runs so smooth, it feels like we're not even moving, and the engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? The silence wakes you up? Back on the flotilla, the last thing you want to hear is silence. 
It means an engine's died or an air filter shut down. That makes sense. I guess you don't have to worry about that here. But old habits die hard. But it's more than just a silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. Sometimes we don't appreciate what we have until it's gone. Yeah. That's true. I'm starting to wonder if that's what the pilgrimage is really about. It's given me a whole new perspective on my people and our culture. You know, there's always a few who go on their pilgrimages and never return. I always assumed something bad happened to them. But maybe they just wanted a different life. You do plan to return to the migrant fleet, right? I could never abandon my people, Shepard. Manda check. I will go sleeping back on my bed. But we have to stop Saren first. What are we? Otherwise, I might not have a home to go back to. Was she a fucking cat? <laughs> what? So what is she, a fucking cat? <laughs> she acts like one sometimes. I should go. Yeesh, I See you later. Places. The hostile takeover. Eliminate crime lords. The two crime lords are located in the hand system of the Gemini Sigma cluster and in the D system of the Hades Gamma cluster. Okay, let's start with uh, this system. This system. Oh. oh, did you see? Uh, I posted it on Instagram. I made this really cute female shepherd. You should go to my Instagram and check it out. You're oh, it's the first thing that popped up on my page. Yeah. Along with an ad for a hentai. <laughs> that wasn't me. <laughs> I promise. Yeah, I get... The character creator is very limited, so anything that looks good is an achievement. Right? Like, the... I hate for Female Shepherd, the lips are all so pouty. Yeah. I hate it. I don't know why they mean. Whoa. Oh, You're shooting the wall, I just want you to know. Wow, thanks. Wow, thanks. Announcement la le li le lo lu. Yeah, man, I agree. Yes. Oh, yeah. I was like, am I tripping? Or why is this reminding me? Um, 
Isn't there, you go to a ship and there's like a torch, like a training thing you can do? Where you just, you get timed and you shoot people? Timed? Yeah. I don't know. I it it was definitely I I went to a ship. Mhm. Mm um. Yeah, and there was like challenges that I could do, and I kept failing. I think um, th that was one a DLC. Yeah. yeah. Huh. And in fact, if I'm thinking of the correct thing, it's a DLC that's not available in the Legendary Edition. Oh. Lena was right. These guys had quite the operation going, but that's all going to change. One down, just one more to go. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And the short. Second oh, crime lord, uh, yeah. <laughs> Goddamn Helena Blake. Yeah, Helena Blake. Fucking ugh, dumb. Well, we're working for her right now. Oh, uh, well, don't tell her. I said that. Yeah, I'll give it to myself. Yeah. Make sure we're not being tapped, wiretapped. Yeah. Encrypt, encrypt the conversation right now. Encrypt. Okay, I'll use Omni Jail. <laughs> Okay. Dude, we should play more Remnant soon. I miss it. We had that so much fun. Yeah. Alright, let's go back to Helena Black. Black? Black. Helena oh. Black. Bl I think oh. she... <laughs> I think she wants us to meet her somewhere specific. Go to the Fortuna system in the Horsehead Nebula. Okay. Did you pick up Liara? No. Okay. I've been sidetracked again. Yeah, I feel you. Alright, Helena Black, don't backstab me now. Hello again, Commander Shepard. I owe you a debt of gratitude. With my former partners dead, this syndicate is now mine. I could not have done it without you. I killed them because they deserved it. Now I'm placing you under arrest. Surely you don't think that necessary. Necessary. Under my leadership, this organization will restrict itself to Look gambling at that and smuggling illegal technologies. These crimes are hardly worth your time. Things. If you press the issue, my assistants are very well equipped to deal with She looks with like 30 with This gang like has a reputation for drugs and slaving. It's too late to change that. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps this organization has been so tainted by those two idiots that it cannot be redeemed. If I disband the gang, I walk away freely. I have not come so far to be arrested. I would die before going to prison. I would most certainly kill before going to prison. Now, do we have a deal? You're free to go. I don't ever want to see this gang again. If I do... You won't. I'm not so foolish as to break my word to a Spectre. Now, if you'll excuse me, my men become nervous in the presence of law enforcement agents. <laughs> Goodbye, Shepard. Law enforcement agents? <laughs> anyway. Any loot? Any loot? Any loot, loot? Any loot? Fucking heathen. Ernod, hey, how are you? You are just in time because I haven't done anything. <laughs> just side missions. Go to the stranger system in the horse net. Oh. oh. Let's do more side quests. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Why are you so Okay, no, 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 no. We'll pick up Liara, okay? We'll do it. Wow, the thing you said you were gonna do in the title hours ago? Yes. What a surprise! Well, it's not hours, it's one hour and 20 minutes. The side quests are a big part of me. Yeah, I've been doing them. 
like my previous session was just doing side quests. I just picked up the title of Spectre and I haven't done anything else. <laughs> yeah, just side stuff. Oh, I'm what? So, oh my god, I'm so dumb. <laughs> what? Uh, I yes. I I saw Bernard yeah. Rex on screen, and I thought you named him Commander, after Rex. Readings. And I was about to be like, really "Bitch, why didn't you name one after charts. me?" And then I like remember that's actually Rex's complex, name. A few clicks away from the drop zone. Yes, I believe I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Rex are not on our chat, named themselves after Air Not Rex in this here game, but I could be wrong. Listen, listen, I only played like a few hours into that game. You're the one that knows this game backwards and frontwards. Yeah, yeah. I got, I got confused. Okay. okay. The great master is right. Yeah, man. Well, that's cool. Now I know where, what your name means, at least. Yeah. I was wondering what the fuck was up with that. <laughs> what the fuck is up with your name? Now I know. Now. Lots of uh, references. Still don't know what the fuck is Cephalon. But Cephalon is the... Pre mm, how do I explain it? In Warframe, there are some sort of, let's call them artificial intelligences, but they're not really artificial, um, mm. from people that were turned into glass as a punishment. Basically, let's say they were turned into AIs as a punishment for crimes, and they get turned into cephalons, which is, they look like an artificial intelligence that gets installed on like uh, ships and stuff. Right. So yeah, in Warframe there are a bunch uh, of uh, cephalons, most notably the one that you have um, with you on your ship called Ordis, who uh, you can tell has uh, a kind of appears like he has multiple personalities because he's real. Um, personality comes through at certain points and if you what little you've played you might hear him say um, go and uh, get covered in blood I mean go and be safe and sound <laughs> uh. because he's like two personalities and they forget who they are anyway I think I've explained this horribly I but yeah take that strong point head on I kinda get it. Basically they're very cool and I like them very much. Damn then mm. uh, I mean what do they look like? Like um Tenno, on your six. They look like that. Just little glass triangles. Yeah, like shapes. This is my favorite Cephalon, that's why I have him as an uh, alert. So now I know where your name comes from. Yeah, I'd not. Just, they're really interesting if you look into it. And for example, the Cephalon you have on your ship is a very tragic character. Because he kind of like starts to remember and he got the... Um, he was like an assassin, but you know, a good assassin. Um, and he got turned as a punishment. And uh, sometimes he remembers himself, but then he forgets, etc. And there is also a cephalon that got turned into glass voluntarily because they were like uh, losing their memories or something. So they turn themselves into a cephalon to preserve their memories. So yeah, lots of interesting mm -hmm. stuff. It's like kinda transferring their 
conscience, a conscience, but it doesn't, you know, work perfectly. You mean mm -hmm. good assassin like Thane? Yes. Yes, Erd, not exactly. Who's Thane? Thane is a character from Mass Effect 2, who is an assassin. Ooh. On this quest, I think there's sneakiness involved here. I can be sneaky just with, you know, with a gun. Right. I mean, I don't know how sneaky that is. Kind of loud. It's okay. The, the sound, the... Their warm flesh pressed upon the barrel of my gun. Gunshot. They will go to sleep. That's like a sleep dart, right? <laughs> the right. bullet? Yeah, that's how it works. I brought my pillow. That's, it, it'll muffle everything. <laughs> so the biggest difference I've noticed so far, besides, you know, the obvious uh, textures being upgraded and stuff, is they have completely changed the stability of guns. Like... I really notably remember in Mass Effect 1, when I was using sniper rifles before, the, you know, the sway the gun does if your accuracy is not uh, high enough is extremely noticeable. And now in this game it's completely gone, like look, solid. So I think they removed uh, the stat that well, you have well. to upgrade to make the guns sway less. And then we all know which Mass Effect I'm returning to. <laughs> I don't know, you get used to it. I really enjoyed being a sniper in the classic game too. I remember sniper rifles being almost unusable. Yeah, now as you saw, it's they completely changed them, so they're very usable now, I think. But I kind of like this way. You kind of adapt to it in... I don't know, you feel... In a sexy when you manage a headshot with a sway. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Whereas I normally like having a sniper rifle in most ARBGs. Yeah. Picking up what you're putting down, son. I'm saying. I'm saying. You smell it when I'm stepping on? Oh shit, it's stinky. Who's got a ticket there? Is this this is the this is your uh, great master, huh? Huh, or not? Oh, was taking it to poopy places. You said you stepped in something. Oh, uh, well, why'd you assume? <laughs> Why are you assuming you What did you step on? A banana? Quien sabe? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> ARPGs. What's your favorite ARPG? Or not? I know which one it is for a certain someone who reeks of certain yeah. Warframe simpage. <laughs> <laughs> but it's DD, isn't it? Is it? Actually, why do I feel like you love Mass Effect more than DD? Mass Effect more than what? Dragon's Talk and DD. Oh. Um. It's easy to think that because there is more to talk about in Mass Effect. And I mean, the story is stronger in Mass Effect. Lots of really good ARPGs, the Technomancer and Mass Effect. Yeah, the Technomancer. Jade Empire, oh my god. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Relax. The ME Trilogy was the first serious game I played. I was very lucky to start with that. Jade Empire is great. It sure is. 
I would love to replay it soon to have it on stream as well. A book. What? Batman. <laughs> Batman. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You were saying it's easy because it's more Mass Effect, but... Uh, Mass Effect um, has, you know, more of a story to talk about and the replayability again brings you more talking points because all of the characters and stuff. Whereas Dragon's Dogma, I mean, it's more about the feeling of how, as you play it and the stories you make yourself. So it's not as uh, as easy to talk about. Yeah, but I'm not. I'm not. The question was not uh, quality. It mm -hmm. was just uh, favoritism. So like, if you had to say Dragon Stock alone, any one of the three Master games, and like pick one, any of the three. Like, would Dragon's Dogma still be your favorite? Isn't there a reboot of Dragon's Dogma coming soon? There's a sequel coming. Now, I don't know if it's soon, they just said it's happening. So, yeah. There are... It's... There are different games. They have a special spot in my heart. They don't go against each other. You see what I mean? Okay, so you would put them both in first place? Yeah. I would put a lot of games in first place, honestly. Oh? I don't want to... I, I don't like to try and find the favorite, because there's so many that it was like, well, if I had to play one, mm. but no, I don't want to just play one, I want it all, you know? Mm -hmm. Like Mass Effect, Dragon Age, The Technomancer, Jade Empire, all of those games are so special to me. You know? Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. Sadly, Ooh, Jade Empire yeah. doesn't work with controllers. Jade Empire Ooh. was uh, on Xbox first, I think. Dragon's Dogma, great fun, but hard. It's, um, if you know where to go, it's not hard or not, but uh, I definitely understand why you would say it's hard, because I also, when I first played it, thought it was extremely hard because I didn't know where to go. So I was ending up in higher level areas. Yeah, the storytelling is very good. Sorry for answering your chat messages out of order. I'm just, you know, playing at the same time. So I'm noticing them uh, out of order. Why did Garus die already? Weak ass. Go there. So it sounds like Erdnot is in your camp. He doesn't... They don't really have a... One favorite ARPG, but the many of them do a first place. Um, I don't know if uh, that's what they said. Um, yeah, maybe confirm. No problem, you're streaming a game, not being an Agonian. <laughs> What's an Agonian? Shit. I don't know. We're back to gamer or something? Oh, wait, no. You're streaming a game, not being an ag. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I don't even fathom what that is. <laughs> Yeah. Disgusting. How much health you do you write, have, dude? Yeah. You write to Erna says you write to an agony aunt in a newspaper to get advice on your problem. Ah. Are you paying? Oh my aunt God. to your agony. Motherfucker, okay, they die. Jesus Christ. Oh, there's more. Man, I love the sniper rifle. Where you at, bitch? You definitely couldn't be the main character in an action film. You have no one-liners. 
Just like, yeah, bitch. Shut up, bitch. Sit down, Ex bitch. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Where you at, bitch? That could be a one-liner, the bitch. I guess. Yeah, you thought, bitch. <laughs> bitch, you thought. Yes, again, bitch. <laughs> hey, I'm feeling kind of called out. What? I think there's a John Collins film called The Bitch. Oh man, they John they Collins. got it first. Now I can't do yeah, they it. Yeah, it first. <laughs> you just oh, be derivative shit. of the oh, bitch. Well, you you don't have to feel called out because I am the same way. I don't have I don't have one liners. I just kind of sputter and utter rage, like you, what? You, you piece of shit. Oh, yeah, but you. everything you say is like you know, Ooh. it's like music coming from the voice of a goddess. Aside from the city, it's funny you say that because every time I'm in chat, you're like, huh? <laughs> what is what is Louis? Yes, sir. What? That's just the vibe. Mm -hmm. The vibe is I don't understand. Please right. explain. I am dumb. Well, I don't know about that. I think I'm. Doesn't matter if I don't understand you. It's the the words of a goddess is what I mean. Okay. Like <laughs> blessing my ears, blessing my chat. You know. I'm glad I honestly um I hope I get to use that to get you to ten subs because uh, yeah. <laughs> I want this on. Yeah, that just makes me wanna play this. You playing Bosch I made wanna play Bosch. And near you watching you play near? I was like, fuck I wanna play near. <laughs> remind me of a bathroom floor. I play near Tony, I want to the talents of blah, blah blah. On your order. On your order. Ready to move. No, say the line. Waiting for orders. Oh come on. Yes, sir. Kaden has some nice uh, one-liners as well. He's like, should have brought a sweater. Oh Whoa, silly Kaden. Yeah, put the sweater over your armor, sweetie. Should have brought a sweater because I'm. Too cool. Oh no, I think it's even better. He says, My mom said I should have brought a sweater. <laughs> like, what? So, yeah, he's cute. He's being a cute. I don't know about that. Hello? What are you bringing your mom up in these instances? What, what are you bragging? That you have a mom? Great for you. Oh, wow, you have a family? Wow. Wow, nice flex, bitch. Can yeah, weird quest, but okay. That's very cutsy. Oh shit, who is this? We hear ya. Are you okay? What happened to you? Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean yeah, security device. Fuck it. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, alright? Your mother is working with Saren. Whose side are you on? What? I am not on anybody's side. I may be Benezia's daughter, but I'm nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. Probably an unpopular opinion, but I don't like how Liara's face looks in the Legendary Edition. How'd you end up in there? I was exploring the ruins when the Geth showed up. Yeah, the textures, so the updated textures, I don't like that? them. Geth, beyond the veil. Meanwhile, I was too busy focusing on her eyebrows. I knew the would keep them out. Like, look at the nose, when what's I happening on, there? I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here, you it must get like me out, please. Nose. Just flat, we'll find some shiny. Way to help you. She's wearing There's highlighter. There's a control in here that should deactivate Only on her thing. nose? You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. Well, that's a choice. <laughs> that's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be that's shut her off choice. from the outside. That's her choice. I don't, they don't like it. Be careful. There was a Krogan with the Geth. Okay, I don't, they have been I don't trying dig different the... ways to get past the barrier. Her eyebrows are really fucking Yeah, they are also weird, but they were Enemy in the contact. base game too, so. 
she got eyebrows like that. It'd be nice if she didn't have eyebrows. That would be, really be alien. Why does she but, actually? Why does she have eyebrows? She doesn't have eyebrows. She draws them on. Asari don't have eyebrows. Oh, yeah. God, she needs to stop doing that. That's embarrassing. We are just trying to be human over here. Own your Asari. Uh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> own your Asari uh, vibe. No eyebrows. They probably gave her eyebrows so she's more fuckable. It's funny because it makes it it makes her less fuckable. Like... The worst is in um, Mass Effect Andromeda. With, um, what's her name? What's her name? Phoebe. Also an Phoebe. Asari. Yeah. Also an Asari and she has big eyebrows and clearly, like, not drawn eyebrows. Or if they are, they're, like, super detailed. So it's even weirder that an Asari has co hairy eyebrows. A species that has no hair. What the hell's her name? Phoebe. Oh, PB. What the fuck is this? What's wrong with eyebrows? <laughs> They're hairy. <laughs> uh. Oh, yes. Well, there are ways to draw them on looking hairy. Just don't draw. Yeah, but why? Okay. Why would you do that? But she also, I it. think they uh, said that she has hairy eyebrows because she's part of Volus or something. I don't know. They gave some cheap ass excuse we st I I don't buy it I don't like it take off the eyebrows actually it looks more fuckable though than we are wow oof <laughs> you are in the minority there I'm not saying I like her I'm just saying I'm putting her right next to Liara and I'm like Ew, we are looking weird <laughs> I, my favorite uh, look of Liara's is in the Shadow Broker DLC and unfortunately from what I've seen in uh, the Legendary Edition they also kind of change how the textures look in the Shadow Broker DLC so it doesn't look as good to me anymore. Uh, I love that we're trying to save the universe and the conversation is all about Liara's eyebrows. Yeah, I mean you have to talk about something to like ease the atmosphere. I mean. Yeah. Mass Effect is literally no <laughs> fuckable characters. Yeah. You should have been here the other day. I was just streaming random stuff again with Mass Effect and Mike was here. And he knows about Mass Effect from like Reddit and stuff. And he's like, oh, can you fuck that guy? Oh, can you fuck this? <laughs> can you fuck that? And I'm like, Mike, please. It's not <laughs> that bad. Like, relax. <laughs> Yeah. It's because yeah. the news, what? the news made it seem like that. New donation from Boo. Thank you so much. What? What are you doing? Who, who you doing? donated? Who donated? Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Once again, you uh, can stop. I don't want you to go broke. <laughs> Please. It? It's back. No. He's really sweet. I'm not gonna go broke, bro. He's fine. Take the money. Shut up. Okay. You take the money and shut the fuck up. Okay, what do we have to interact to free her? I was not paying attention. Oopsie doopsie, talking about eyebrows I'm... made me not focus. Ha 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 ha. I'm still so triggered by that 7 out of 10 subs. <laughs> it was a take. Hey guys. Hmm? Call to action here. Uh, would you like to see Cephalon Ket die over and over and disarmed as they get caught by the same bard over and over again? Or would you like to see Cephalon Ket destroy every enemy in their path uh, going in for that dark ending? I don't know. Do you? Do you? Maybe sub. Throw a sub. Already subbed? Throw a gift sub. Oh shit. Oh, Give sub to your you favorite neighbor in the Cephalon Ket uh, community. <laughs> Thank Get you. us to 10 subs, damn it. I'm kidding. <laughs> God damn it. 
Yeah, uh, Luna is triggered because it was at eight subs before, and we're like, oh shit, just two more, and then it went back down to seven. <laughs> so unfair. We have to get you out of here before more Geth arrive. Something touches me. Thank you so much. Uh oh. Wait, is it being read in Japanese? No, it's the accent. Any idea how we get uh, out of this place? Which is, you know, there funny. There's an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I I'll think. I'll read it's it in a second because I it couldn't actually hear it. Come on. Uh, Bug is basically the same. Cry her river. Cry her river. Hold on. Shut Hold up and on. take his That's money. Hold oh, on. Oh. Sarah's <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> You're a Prothean expert, he probably ah. wants you to help him find it. The conduit, but I don't know. That fucking cutscene is true. <laughs> what the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. I'm sorry. That Shush. mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Okay, I'm going to read it now. <laughs> Anyways. Always Joker, do this get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. I'm on the so double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander, secure on. and away. What's going on, man? Eight minutes. Are you okay? Not no. much okay? for error. God damn it, bro. What's going on? Are you okay? Blink. Blink if you're okay. Gyrus blinked. Is that good enough? Is is he blinking? He blinked. I don't see shit. I'm not looking. I don't see anything. The moment. No. Hot. Yeah, bug likes scares. Hot boy blinked. I saw. Yeah. Yeah, color me not surprised. He did not like the. Brenda, um. Or don't. That would be more fun. Krogan. Krogan. Yeah, the big. Uh, the big guys. Like Erdnot. Erdnot Rex. Oh, well, because he looks like a mix between a lizard and frog. In case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. Exhilarating. I like the soda zombies. Getting rid of those soda zombies. And I lose. Over. Yes. Yes. He literally looks like foliage. <laughs> She'll stay with us. Thanks. Look, she's wearing highlighter on her I'll eyebrow bone. Saren wants her. And he always gets what he wants. Kill them. Spare the assault. The thing is, can. what I no, think is happening is they just forced, uh, force upgraded the texture. They did not, you know, remake the texture, so the the lighting looks fucked. So that's why she looks super bright at some points. Mm. That's a common makeup thing. Makeup tips. Yeah, I know that. I'm saying, yeah. I'm trying to explain why there would be a bright patch of fucking light on their nose for no reason. It's because makeup! <laughs> that bird looks fantastic though. Yeah, and I think they passed him to look even better. Like I think when the Legendary Edition first came out, his eyes looked a bit weird, and then they made them even move, better. Move, move. Shut up, bro. You know I'm not talking about you. <laughs> that is a honk. Yes. I don't even know how to say shepherd in German. Shepherd. Shepherd. Bird. Rex. Shepherd. Oh, not the dog. <laughs> Too close, Commander. Chase Ten more him. seconds, we will be swimming in molten sulfur. <laughs> oh. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes. He teases attention. It's a coping mechanism. You'll get used to it. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my must life back there. Must be a human thing. And like, not just no. from the volcano. 
Those geth would have killed Ooh. me or dragged me off to sell. No, Liara is just what weird. What want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Holy shit, Only that her it head. Was somehow connected to the head is extinction. Cover and highlight. That is my real yeah. area of expertise. See, that's what I, I mean with the textures just being weird. To figure out that's what to them. just her head texture. It's not supposed to be highlighter. So it just looks weird because they upgraded it. Mm. How old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn! I hope I look that good when I'm your age. Jeez. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours, but among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans now were not her the nose first looks a bit civilization better. to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Where do you come up mm. with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. Mm. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right. And eventually, I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great <laughs> civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my Good life night, to figuring not... out why. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The thanks Reapers. for stopping by. Yeah, thanks. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance Enjoy to the acquire night. a working beacon, Sweet even things. a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Okay, this isn't helping us find Saren or the Conduit. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Mm. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit or Saren. <laughs> so what good are you, goddamn? I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her bionics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion. Coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? We can talk again after you've seen the doctor. The rest of you, 
Dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? I really like that Liar is like, yeah, that must be a human thing, blah, blah, blah. but you've met multiple Asari and they're fine. They're basically humans in blue skin. This is just weird. It's just... Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Norman. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Liar is on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. I like the color of their hollow. They change it to blue in later games, but I think this is nicer. Okay, let's talk to Liara. To the racist. Everybody's racist, don't worry. <laughs> 